composition this is. It's a Dvorak song that you well know, which was transcribed for violin by Fritz Kreisler, who added a very snappy middle part. Joseph Kingold, who is the extraordinary professor of violin at one of the finest music schools in the world, Indiana University. The pianist Charles Webb, who is the dean of that music school, Indiana University. Now, let's again have a complete change of pace. You've heard me talk about the Prix de Rome, which is really the, the prize of Rome, which used to be given, especially in France, to very gifted young composers who would have the freedom without having to worry about uh, money or any other uh, necessities of life by being sent to that fabulous institution, the Villa Medici in Rome. Among them was a very reluctant 23-year-old Frenchman by the name of Claude Debussy. Why reluctant? Why wouldn't he grab it? Well, he was unhappy in Rome to begin with. He didn't like the idea of having to submit a, an apprentice composition. And in fact, he fled back to Paris twice and finally remained there for good. Now, among the, the little apprentice pieces that he prepared, but never submitted to the conservatory, was a fantasy for piano and orchestra. It's an early piece. Why it is never performed, your guess is as good as mine. We're going to hear it performed here, and especially the second movement, there are three movements, by Aldo Ciccolini, pianist, and the national, the French National Radio and Television Orchestra, conducted by Jean Martinon. This is Debussy's fantasy.
We'll hear the second movement of the Fantasy for Piano and Orchestra by Claude Debussy merges with a third. Oh, for something which is 